You know, I wanted to do something stupid today after yesterday's complete catastrophe. It was mid-recording the Kai 200 video when it came to news about 2 and 9,000. Unfortunate it is, but things must go on. And I've got 90,000 uh, golden birds, so I thought, could I buy the remainder of the premium aircraft left that I don't necessarily have? Now, as a fun statistic, I already have all the aircraft, 600 and... Oh, 675 unlockable aircraft in War Thunder, which is an impressive stat, but I don't have all the premium aircraft or event vehicles yet. Uh, so far, I've got about 90% of aviation in War Thunder, excluding helicopters, that adds an extra 25%. There's, mind you, there's only about 38 helicopters. I can pretty easily get those. Uh, besides the point, there is about 6% of vehicles that I have that are premium based. Uh, and the remainder of the 4% are vehicles I will never probably get access to, neither will you. They're tournament aircraft, event aircraft, stuff that are hidden and collector vehicles like the Kai-10 uh, Rainbow, the SB-2M, there's a variant of the SB-2M that is. There's a German SM-79, D-520 for example, the British one. There is a handful of aircraft which go into that kind of category, which again is pretty interesting if you think about it. Anyway, we're going to grab the calculator out because there is essentially a number of vehicles which we don't have. There's 43 aircraft in total, which I don't own. <laughs> so these are all the unlockable premium aircraft that I don't have. In mind, I already have a lot in the game. I haven't necessarily tallied up how much there is. For USA, there's six. Germany, there's five. Russia, there is eight. For UK, there are four. Japan, there is 12. China, there is one. Italy, there is four. France, there is two. And last but not least, Sweden with one aircraft. And that is a mouthful and a half. This is essentially to show you the absurdity that the War Thunder's economy is. Yeah, sure, there are 675, give or take, aircraft that you can unlock and play and have a decent time at. There's another 300 odd aircraft that you can unlock via premiums or event vehicles on the side of that. So while there is a thousand vehicles, technically speaking, at the same time, a lot of it, or a lot of the interesting pieces of t technology are behind either a paywall or a massive grind, or they're vehicles you can't get anymore unless you partake in tournaments, or you partake in some of the Operation Summer Winter crafting build-a-thon events, or completing battle passes, but, you know, War Thunder's full of those kind of things. I'm not getting paid to do this. Uh, as a content creator, we do get given an allowance every so often if we request it, depending on our channel's performance. It is a partnership. I do not get paid to do these kind of things. We don't get everything unlocked for free. We can request certain vehicles, but that is the content partner uh, partnership, essentially. That is what it is. It is a partnership between two variables. We provide coverage for their game in exchange for our time and our effort producing content. And what you get is videos like, for example, mine here, where we're adding up how many vehicles there would be if I essentially were to unlock the remainder of the unlockable premium Golden Bird available aircraft uh, <laughs> just for no unknown reason. This was pure curiosity for me. And I know nobody will ever see that amount of Golden Birds in one's inventory, but I will say that uh, that's months and months and months of collecting golden birds. And we're already up to 95,000, which is almost my total here. I think I've got about 96,000 in total. We're just about at the end. But I guess it goes to show you that the economy is quite interesting. I already did economy breakdown videos. They're a bit outdated at current. But here's the grand total, right? Are you ready for this? We're almost done. There it is. 155,620 golden eagles is what it would cost you in order to unlock 43 aircraft. Just 43. If you had to unlock the aircraft that I had uh, left to go. I, unfortunately, I couldn't tell you the stats of every single uh, purchasable aircraft because there are sales and things. And what I highly recommend you go do is if you have to buy a premium aircraft or you have to buy, you want to have a look at some of the things, wait for a, a, a sale. So in, in theory, this should cost about 1,023 US dollars on average. And yeah, that's just a mind boggling number just for 155,000 gold birds. Quite a shocking revelation, don't you think? And again, I've done this video primarily because I've got all the unlockable aircraft in War Thunder currently. I have ground most out the tech trees myself. I've gotten a couple of the premiums and I've ground out most of the end tech tree lines. So 
for me, this is just an experimentation of what is possible or what's feasible when you have access to a budget like this. Unfortunately, it's still not enough. <laughs> 155,000. Yeah, you know, what? it's it's what? Uh, 155, so it's 55 minus 92. You know, I'm still, I'm still missing quite a bit. I'm still missing 63,000 golden birds. But anyway, short video today. A little more upbeat, a little more crazy, I suppose. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And yes, I wish I could share the golden birds with all of you. In fact, we're going to do the math here. It's 92,000 golden birds for 42,000 subscribers. You all are getting 2.1 golden birds each. So I hope you're happy. There you go. Anyway, that's the video for today.